now. Please welcome Brooke and Laura. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. It's so good to see you. Hi. Thank you for Thanks having us. Oh, now, you, you've come in, actually, to talk about um, this new series called Drama Queens. Mm. Yes. So tell us a bit about that, cos when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it must be a new drama. Mm. Yeah. But it's um, not, is it? It's very... No, it's not. No. Um, it's basically a following us and some more girls, obviously, that um, have done soap over the years and just kind of seeing how we navigate it. It's a little bit like... Like you guys, and just seeing how you work things, mm. kids, life, washing, laundry, <laughs> the yeah. lot. So it's, like, it's a reality TV show, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's a like little bit scary, wall, isn't, isn't it, it? for yeah. us, actually, because we're not in character, it's just us. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> <the> exposing. <laughs> I suppose the thing is, you obviously, you've got a script before and when you do your other shows, when you do soaps, but this being so stripped, what made you decide to actually say yes and be so exposed? For me, I love the premise when it was pitched to me because it was so relatable. I thought I would want to watch that. If I wasn't yeah. in it, I would want to watch mm. it because the majority of us are mums, but there is one girl in the cast that isn't. Yeah. Um, but we've all got a job. We're all juggling side hustles. We've all got um, challenges, juggling the struggle, and then we're just working on sort of the celebrations and enjoying those with our friends. And actually within the show, we are in real friendship groups. Oh, right. Yeah, like... we. Earlier, we are talking about the whole idea of soft working and not working very hard. <laughs> and I think to a lot of people, both of you will represent women who work in glamorous jobs and they'll be saying, oh, but that's not really work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, you know who you're working for. You, you were both in soaps for a very, very long time and you used to love... How, what would you say to that? I would say it's maybe not as glamorous as you think it is all the time. Um, you do get a lot of downtime if you're not in a heavy storyline, but when you are heavily storylined, it is relentless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the that's the juggle, isn't yeah. it? Because yeah. it's going, I get up at five, I get to work for seven, and sometimes might not get home till eight. Yeah. So right. where do you fit a life in? And then you go home, learn lines, eat, go to bed, and it's on repeat for a while. Yeah. And but, it must be emotionally hard work mm. as well, that as well. You were saying that before, yeah. weren't you? It's... Sometimes they're like, can you cry? I haven't obviously, I've, I've left to have my boys, but I remember there was a time, and obviously a much simpler time before the boys, where I could go and they'd say, OK, can you just cry for a bit? And I'd cry and they'd go, it's tea break. And I'd be like, oh, I'm still crying into the room. <laughs> um, but, you know, we, we, you know, as in, like, our industry, it's a lovely job, it is, and we are with people that do care about us and do look after us. And I think what this kind of does is more showcase that, you know, as, as women, we go through things that... Sometimes just knowing that somebody else is going through it just makes you feel a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Some people, I say it all the time, some people seem to think we've got our lives together and we absolutely... My life, <laughs> honestly, I was saying no for the first few times they asked me because my life's like a circus. My kids are feral. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally, I literally look but that's round. that's what we want to see. Yeah, it is, and, it's, yeah. And, it's, and, and that's the one thing that I said... I would do it. Oh, oh look there. They, see, that was chaos. We can't even get one of us all looking. <laughs> it's, it's literally a juggle, but it's just something that I think is really important because when I first had the boys, I used to look at social media and, you know, I, I fall into that trap of thinking everyone's got the perfect life mm. and they're always immaculate and their kids are always immaculate. It's not real life and mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah. We're documenting them and showcasing them. Was that an important to you both, that you wanted to show authenticity, you wanted to show the reality behind the scenes? That was the kind of ob objective. Or was there an an any other elements of it that you really wanted to bring out with the series? I think, for me, definitely what was attracted me to the premise, and that's why I thought I would love to watch that, because of exactly what you've just said. Everything sometimes just looks out of your reach, yeah. and why can I not do that? And how come she makes it out of the house every day and does something fun and exciting, and I can't even get everybody dressed? I haven't had a shower for yeah. three days. And I think for other people to be able to watch and relate and go, oh, God, it's OK to yeah. not have everything together all the time. Not, yeah. mm. It's all right, and yeah. it's normal to normalise it and to see that we're all on an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Is it nice as well, in a way, because you've both played these characters for so long, and mm. people actually think you are those people, don't they, in soaps? <laughs> they think you are that yeah. character. Is it nice to be able to show just be you? Like, just be your own self and not playing a character? I think they prefer my character, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm obviously not in Corey at the minute. I've, I've I'm, um, like I say, left to have the boys and I'm just about to start a play. So the syndicate 
um, starts tomorrow and they've basically... That's drama in Richmond, queens, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it yeah. starts at Richmond and we tour, but, you know, drama queens have followed me through that full process of how am I going to go back to work? How am I going to do it? And obviously with, like I say, touring, who's going to be at home? Who's going to wash the kids' clothes? How's my mm. partner going to cope? Because it's hard and, mm. you know, we know it's yeah. hard, especially trying to juggle home life. Mm. So... Um, and your, your boys, is two boys have got two um, boys. Usher syndrome. That's oh, sorry, <clears throat> boys boys got yeah. Boy and a girl's mm. got yeah. Usher syndrome. So the mum guilt, the family mum guilt. life... Everything. How do you manage with, you know, what for those who are watching, what is Usher syndrome? Uh, it's a recessive condition that causes hearing loss, vision loss, and sometimes balance problems. Right. Um, with my children, it's mm. hearing loss and vision oh, loss. So we're navigating that journey. And again, Drama Queens has been following that with us. And I think for me, what you were saying about your character and <clears throat> the real you, I found that element very scary. Mm. Because... You're amazing, though. She's so lovely. You <laughs> are, you are. And, well... and she's really, really, like you say, you're raising awareness, but you're just such a lovely woman. And, oh. and people get to see that. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Is this, is this, this relationship between you, was that there before? Or would you say this is the, one of the beautiful things that's come out of working on this show we, together? We only met we, a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, so our, they did um, a press shoot with all the girls and we was working, we couldn't make it, so we had to do our own little mini oh, one. So, so we've is... like, we're like the new... Uh, they were like new you best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but she is, she's so We were so just lovely. saying we were meant to meet, but I think that's a part of it, isn't it, of going... There's a woman, I don't really know you, but my circumstances are very similar, so there's co an instant common ground, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, being new besties, is there, any, is there going to be any, like, serious dramas, like, drama, drama? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 the <laughs> drama within the drama? Yeah. Huh. I don't think so. Like I say, we all just kind of want a quiet... We're all trying to look at each other for the answers. Yeah. We want to see what everyone's up to. Exactly. And what about, um, you know, Corey and things like that? Are, are you going back? Uh, to well, it's funny because, like I say, I left for maternity, and they never rang, so I don't know. <laughs> um, no, I, like I say, I just... I'm really excited to start this new, like, different avenue um, yeah. and, and doing the theatre and, like I say, we, we start in Richmond tomorrow, which I'm so scared about, but it's that adrenaline, like, mm. boost of live. You obviously know, like, live, and you're just like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> well, um, girls, thank you but, so, yeah. so much for oh, coming in. Thank you. So it starts tonight, Drama Queen starts tonight, 9pm on ITVB and ITVX, and good luck with the syndicate. In thank, the you. thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> relationship. Oh. <laughs>